If you guys want to keep updated with all the football scores from around the world, make sure you go and check out Crowd Scores, their live football scores app. The goal notifications are incredibly fast. You can chat with other fans on the app as well. And also, it's free to download on iOS and also Android. What's up, guys, and welcome to today's video. We have got a Premier League Bronze Beast squad builder. Now, you guys asked for it. You guys suggested it. And I have brought it to you guys. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we're going to be winning the game at the end uh, with this team. I'm pretty sure it's going to be an absolutely class team. There's a lot of, well, there's a few familiar names in here. Um, there's a lot of really, really good looking cards. And I just can't wait to get started and show you guys this team. Now, over the past few days, I have been in London um, with a few other YouTubers. And we recorded some real life football. Now, this was like the first time in absolute ages that I've uploaded um, and recorded real life football with some other YouTubers. YouTubers. Um, so yeah, I uploaded that video yesterday and I don't know why YouTube was just absolutely terrible. Usually real life football videos do so well. The response on the video was amazing, but I feel like at least 50% of you did not see that video. Um, I'll put some of the comments and a little clip uh, of the video on the screen right now just so you guys can get the gist of the video. But if you want to go check it out, please do. Uh, sub boxes were just terrible. I think it was something to do with the, the football being back as well from the international break. I think that had a bit of an impact on things. But yeah, by all means, check it out. Link will be down in the description below. Um, and yeah, let's get straight on with this video then. So let's go and have a look at who we have got in goal. So boxes Premier League, search my club. We have got... This guy, Nick Pope now, he plays for Burnley. Um, no real reason, <laughs> no no particular reason that I, I, I picked him other than I searched him on Foothead, who was one of the high, was, well, the highest rated, uh, and he had the best total in-game stats. It was kind of, there was no real standout goalkeepers. So yeah, this guy was going to be uh, the player to go into the team because he had the most total uh, stats on his card. So... There we go, that's the goalkeeper. He does actually look pretty sick though for a bronze 64 rated keeper. He has got some pretty high stats uh, for a 64 rated card. Moving on to the two centre backs then. We have got two pretty pacey lads actually. Paul uh, from Manchester United and then the other side of Manchester, we've got Manchester City, we've got Humphreys Grant. Now, this guy is obviously the pacey one of the two. Uh, he's got 70 pace, 61 defending and 64 physical, whereas Paul has 67 pace, 62 defending and 66 physical. I think they're both going to be pretty decent, to be honest. Um, they were definitely the best centre-backs out of the lot. There was actually one which I could have replaced Humphreys Grant with, uh, who I think actually has 73 pace. But then his defending and his physical were worse, his passing was worse. Uh, so I felt like, you know what, Humphrey's gone. I'll take a little bit down from the pace and just go over, uh, go over a player which I think is going to be better overall. So yeah, there we go. Left back then, uh, we have got Riley. Now he is actually, I think he's like the paciest left back in uh, the bronze section for the Premier League. And he's only got 71 pace. But on this game... I think he's going to be a pretty decent card. He's quite highly rated on Foothead. So, um, yeah, from what people have said, he's going to be a good player in game. Right back then, we have got uh, Ayana. I'm going, to, I'm going to say, or, yeah, I'm, I, that's just, that's that's what I'm going to go over. Right, guys, I'm, I apologise if it's wrong. Um, but, yeah, he's got 78 pace. And this guy was very, very highly rated on, on, uh, on Foothead. You guys seem to really, really like him. So, yeah, I felt like uh, he had to be in the team. There was no one else that I wanted to put in. He's got 78 pace, uh, 62 defending and 62 physical. Some very, very good defensive stats there for a 63 red card. Then in CDM, we've got a Polish player from Arsenal. Uh, he's got pretty good defensive stats, to be honest. Uh, 62 rated, 60 passing as well. So that's going to be pretty decent. 63 dribbling, 64 physical. I think he's going to be a pretty solid player uh, in that holding role in the midfield. Moving on then to the right midfielder, who is actually a right winger because I haven't actually applied uh, a card to him yet. We've got Leko. Now, this guy plays for West Bromwich Albion. Uh, he's got 89 pace, actually one of the most paciest players in this team. 63 shooting, which is pretty high for a right winger or right midfielder uh, with that much pace. Then he's got 68 dribbling as well and 61 physical. Uh, so I'm actually really, really looking forward to using this card. I think he looks like an absolute beast, which is why he is in the team. Left midfield then, we have got a man from the team I support. We have got Sheyu, Sheyo, Sheyo Ojo. Um, so 84 pace, 66 dribbling. They're kind of his standout stats. He looks like a pretty good player, let's be honest. And obviously very highly rated on, uh, on Foothead and also very highly rated in real life as well. So um, yeah, 
Very excited to use him. Very excited to use both our wingers. Um, so, let's move on to the cam then. We've actually got a Spanish player now uh, from Manchester City. No, it is not David Silva. We have got... Raheem Diaz. Now, this guy has got three star weak foot, uh, sorry, four star weak foot, three star skill moves, high, medium work rate. Uh, he's right footed, five foot seven. Uh, and he's like, I'm pretty sure, yep, yeah, he's, he's, he's 17. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's actually quite, like, that makes me feel a bit sad. Like, he's 17 and he's on he's on armor team, and I'm 21 and I'm making YouTube videos. So, yeah, a little bit, a little bit <laughs> unfortunate, but yeah, he actually does look like a very, very nice card indeed. Two pretty high stats in there, 78 and 71 dribbling. I think he's going to be absolutely class. Moving on to the strikers then, we have got two absolute beasts. I'm not going to lie, Chuba Akpom and also Asoro look like absolutely quality players. Um, I'm not too sure which way around I'm going to have them. But uh, yeah, I mean, pfft. Akpom obviously six foot. Uh, this guy is five foot nine. He's actually very young as well. I think he's 17 as well by the looks of things. Uh, yes, I'm pretty sure he's 17. Uh, three star wake three star skill moves. Akpom, six foot. Uh, he's, 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 well, he's still younger than me. Actually, no, he's actually older than me. No, he's younger than me, so, <laughs> sorry. So I, I, I can't actually work this out that, that quickly. Um, but yeah, I mean, just look at them two strikers. J come on, they, they do look pretty sick. Let's, let's put their stats up against each other. Akpom has three better stats than uh, Asuro. Asuro has three better stats than Akpom. So, pretty evenly rated, let's be honest. Um, but yeah, Asuro stats, 88 pace and 70 dribbling. I think that is going to be absolutely quality. So, there is only one thing left to do. And you guys know exactly what it is. And we're going to go ahead and move into a game. Now, we're going to actually dive into a game of seasons. I'm in Division 5. This could be pretty interesting. This could be a big mistake, but we're probably going to be coming up against some absolutely sick goal team. So this is going to be the ultimate test. Let's get into it. Let's go. All right, then. This is our opponent. Let's have a look and see what team. Okay, yeah, right. This is what we expected. A good Barclays Premier League team. Now, it's got Deli Ali, uh Rashford, Wilshere, Coquelin. Pereira, Matip, Coleman, Reed, Shaw, and Begovic in goal. Uh, Ronald Koeman as the manager. Not that it really matters. But, yeah, this is going to be an incredibly tough game. Who is going to come out on top? The Bronze Beasts? I, th I, th I think the Bronze Beasts. Lay your bets down now. Um, lay, yeah, lay your predictions down right now. Who do you think is going to win? What's the score going to be? I'm hoping these Bronze Beasts are going to come out on top. I would, be, I would be happy with a draw. That would put this team in a pretty decent category. Uh, let's be honest, because, yeah, I mean, how, there's not going to be many bronze teams that are going to be able to draw. Oh, go! No! Oh, my God, we had a sick opportunity, and already Begovic has been forced to make a save, and stupidly, ah, we, we could have actually scored there. We could, have, ah, we could have actually scored there. We had two opportunities there. Oh, for God's sake. Right, okay, well, um, yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> we could have had an early lead, but unfortunately... Oh. Okay, we're actually getting in some very good positions already. It's been five minutes into the game. I think this guy is going to be in trouble. I really do. But I think we're also going to be in trouble. So there's probably going to be a lot of goals in this game. Let's see what's going to happen. Mate, it ain't going to be as easy as you think. I'm telling him now. This is not going to be as easy as this guy thinks. And I think that could work in my favour as well. So let's see. Let's see. Go on. Oh, Asuro, Asuro, here we go, here we go, boys, near post OP, nah, not, not near, near post OP, but we've got the running of Coleman on that right back spot, so we've got to keep this up, come on, come on, come on, keep going, keep going, no, oh my god, sick, right, yeah, we're 1-0 down, lovely, that is so undeserved as well, I've got to just say, oh, he's made the ball, he's made the ball, go on, Leno, oh my days, two saves now, Begovic has made, Right, uh, this was this is actually harder than I thought. I'm not gonna lie. Go on, Akpom. Finish. Oh my days, man. Thing is, yeah, we're actually get we're actually when we're on the attack, this guy's in Barney. Like, if I had a goal team, I'm sorry, he would be two, three nil down by now. Uh, so it's just a little bit frustrating. Go. Here we are. This this is my chance. This is my chance. 
Go on. Oh, it's got. Oh, my days. I need a goal before half time. Seriously. Go on. There we go. Okay, right. One back. One back. Well played by our team. Obviously, they're most vulnerable when they've just scored. But that is one back. Uh, nicely worked as well. Especially by our Cam Diaz, who uh, has obviously got his first assist. Right, okay. 3-1. Can, can, can we just take a look at his stats? It's just because I have a bronze goalkeeper. I'm not even joking. It's because I have a bronze goalkeeper. We've had so many chances, but I'm going to hopefully get this to a bit more of a respectable scoreline for this for this bronze team. I hope even though we're losing against the goal team, you guys can see the quality in this bronze side. Like Especially for like a bronze tournament or something like that. Or say, I don't know, you don't, you don't know what uh, foot champions is going to pop up in the future. They might say, oh, for the whole for the whole weekend, you've got to play with just bronze players or something, something random like that. You never know. So, yeah. Um... Oh, God, here we go. Go on, Diaz. Here we are. I actually feel pretty confident right now. Go on, Akpom. Play it back in the middle. And again. And again. And again. Go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Akpom. Oh, it is 2-3-2. Uh, it is 3-2. We're back. I oh, know, so it's, it's Sorrow. <laughs> they both begin with A. I, sorry. Sorry. I don't really look at the, the names as well. Um, but yeah, that is some great play. Some wonderful play. This guy's probably thinking, well, I'm in Barney now, lads. Uh, come on. This would be quite embarrassing if I lose against the bronze team. But I'm proving, I'm proving this team is sick. I'm proving I'm doing it. Yes. Great defending. And again, look at that. Go on. That's onside. That is onside. It's onside. And it is 3-3. Three, three. I tell you now. I tell, I'm telling you now. I'm t honestly, this guy is different class. Asoro, what a beast. What a beast. He's scored two goals. Chuba Akpom, Akpom scored the first one. Uh, oh my god, what a save. What a save from Pope to keep us in it. Is this written in the stars? Dearie me, dearie me. No. No. Right, okay, yeah. Sick. I don't know how that's got through. I really do not. I don't think we've got enough time to go on another counter-attack counter, counter attack after this, so we're probably going to be losing this game. Which is so unfortunate, because this team has played actually, honestly played so well. Um, and of course, it is actually pretty frustrating as well for me. Oh, right, that's an own goal, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's an own goal. Dearie me. Oh, how has that actually gone in? What is our keeper doing? That is a very up, like unfair reflection of, of how the game finished, the 5-3 scoreline. We will show you the stats. Because, yeah, uh, I mean, look at that. 17 goal, 17 shots, 12 on target for him. Yes, fair enough. I've had 11 shots, 7 on target. But I've had a full bronze team. He's a full box Premier League beast goal team. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Um, and, yeah, I highly recommend the team. The two strikers are absolutely insane, along with the cam. The two wingers are lovely as well. Um, the defenders just couldn't quite keep up with the top strikers that he had up front. Notably Rashford and Batshuayi. So yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.